intermittent irregular slowing is a nonspecific EEG finding characterized by brief irregular bursts of slow wave activity. Unlike continuous focal slowing, intermittent irregular slowing has a lower correlation with structural brain lesions. In this EEG sample, we see a two second burst of polymorphic delta activity in the posterior temporal parietal region of the left hemisphere. This finding is from a 55 year old patient with a left subcortical white matter lacunar infarction. Notice the phase reversals at T5 and P3 marked by arrows. These phase reversals help localize the abnormal activity. Now, why is this EEG abnormal? Well, because of three unique characteristics. Number one, focal localization. The polymorphic delta slowing is focal and localized to the posterior temporal parietal region, suggesting a specific area of dysfunction. In this case, it correlates with the patient's lacunar infarction in the left subcortical white matter. Number two, polymorphic delta activity. The delta waves in intermittent irregular slowing are typically polymorphic, meaning they vary in shape and amplitude. This irregularity contrasts with the rhythmic delta activity seen in patterns like TURDA, making it less specific for a particular etiology. Number three, intermittency versus continuity. Intermittent irregular slowing is less specific than continuous focal slowing, which has a stronger association with structural lesions. However, its focal nature still points to a potential underlying structural issue, such as the lacunar infarction seen in this case. Clinical implications. While intermittent irregular slowing is not as definitive as epileptiform discharges, its focal nature often suggests a structural lesion, especially when localized to one region of the brain. In this case, it reflects disruption in the white matter tracts of the left hemisphere due to the infarction. As highlighted in the Journal of Clinical Neurophysiology, intermittent irregular slowing often warrants further imaging studies such as an MRI to better understand the structural changes responsible for the EEG findings. And that's it folks. While intermittent irregular slowing isn't as specific as other EEG findings, it's a critical clue when evaluating patients for underlying structural lesions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week for another Two Minute Tuesday video.